Her Majesty the Queen has died. Ito ang isa sa napakalungkot na balita na ikinumpirma at inanunsyo mula sa Buckingham Palace kayon lamang. It was today that the doctor of the palace informs children of Queen Elizabeth her health. The whole family including Prince Charles and Prince Harry traveled to Balmoral Castle, the monarch's residence in Scotland, to be with their mother, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. People also gathered outside the palace after hearing the news concerns about the health of the queen. It was even mentioned few hours ago that the queen was comfortably resting and not long when it was announced through the royal family social media page that says the queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The king and the queen consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II passed away at the age of 96. A short notice of the palace was also had at the gate to confirm and announce the passing away of Her Majesty. The death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II means that the palace will have a king, and that will be the eldest son of the queen, now King Charles. Pero ayon sa report, possible umanong gagamit ng ibang pangalan si King Charles. Kaya ang pag-welcome sa new king and the rest of the announcement sa pamamaalam ni Queen Elizabeth II will soon be announced. The day of the Queen's passing will be referred to as the D-Day and each day after until the funeral which will take place at the 10th day. Since in Scotland, binawian ang buhay si Queen Elizabeth II, her coffin will be transported to London via royal trains or yung tinatawag na Operation Unicorn. But if that's not possible, her coffin instead will be transported by a plane which is called Operation Overstudy. As of now, one thing is for sure, not just Great Britain, but the whole world is mourning for the death of Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II.